Hello, hello, hello everyone, this is Junior here, and I'm doing a very late recording because it is 12.33 a.m. in the morning. Character choice. Ooh, I'm going for Ray. Sorry, that thing decided to open. Weird. I was reading that silently, sorry. No, I'm not gonna spoil it. Prologue. Bzz. The alarm clock that I set last night it was noisy, explaining that it was morning. What? As I pressed on the switch for the alarm clock, the sound stopped. I looked at the alarm. It read 7 a.m. My hair's messy, sorry guys. Yawn. Don't mind the noise. As I got up, I gave a huge stretch down my spine and rubbed my eyes. After getting changed in ugh, after getting changed into my uniform, I left my room and headed towards the living room, where as always, my breakfast and lunch for the day for that day are, were already prepared. After confirming that, I headed towards the washroom. When I'm when I was brushing my teeth after washing my face, the doorbell rang. Morning, open the door. I heard a booming voice from the entrance way. This is something that she does very every morning and always at the same time. Thinking it can't be helped, I headed towards the entrance. Way still brushing my teeth and unlock the door. Morning, ah, are you you were brushing your teeth? Sorry. Even though she's apologizing, you could tell clearly she didn't really mean it. She is Yuri Kanamatsu. She lives next door and is one of those so-called childhood friends. That reminds me of Doki Doki a little bit. Doki Doki Electric Club. Too, I didn't have that game for the phone. My parents are really busy, and as such, are always gone by the time I wake up, and don't get back until late at night. Due to that, I've been being looked after for a while back by Yuri and her parents. Yuri, stabby stabby and doki doki. Even though I'm already a high school student, she comes and makes sure I'm awake every morning, which I don't particularly mind, but I can't wake my wake up myself. I'm even constantly telling her she doesn't need to come every time. What's that? Mm. Hmm. I headed back to the bathroom and rinsed up my mouth. After arranging my lip my hair a little, I headed towards to the living room to eat breakfast. Breakfast, old dead meme. It's an old dead meme. Ah, oh, fudge. Okay, not that one. After, okay. Have your mom and dad gone to work again today? Yeah, most likely. It's not like I've checked but that's what the usual story is. Saying it truthfully, my parents don't really have a great relationship. Uh-oh. Both of them were originally busy with work. But ever since I can remember, they never been around each other all that much. I'm laying my back now. Ugh. It's kind of late, so I'm laying on my back. I'm going to bring this closer so you guys can see my face. Okay. That is typically tip 
typically nice English. That is typically out of the house due to work. And I once started elementary school. Ugh, there we go, that's better. My mom also started working again, so she started disappearing from the house more and more often as well. Why don't I just do this? That's not really bright. Holy God. Ugh. Why do you guys can still see me? Oh no, what did I do? Hey, you guys can still see me ish. I used to see them fighting sometimes late at night. Lately, even that doesn't happen. It was Yuri's parents who always p pitied me and invited me to dinner, which meant I had a lot of time together with Yuri. <sighs> Ah, excuse me. Yay, yeah, color. I see. Ah, uh, are you going to eat now? Shall I eat with you? Oh, I read that wrong. I heard, shall I eat you? Whoa, I read that wrong. Shall I eat with you? Though I already ate at home. By the way, did you see that dream drama yesterday? What the hell? Drama yesterday? It was super thrilling. Who do you think the mastermind was? Ah, wait, don't answer. I think it's the husband. I pressed my image, whoops. Ah, but wait, the neighbors were also pretty suspicious. They were even spying. Hmm, but I think it's the husband after all. She started speaking before even listening to my answer. She was talking without any input from me like a machine gun of words. My house, which was just quiet was now in an uproar i really think it's amazing that she has this energy in the morning i was over pressured for now just calm down i can eat alone and i didn't see yesterday's drama eh why why even though it was so interesting what a waste because i was watching comedy last night Yesterday I was watching a comedy artist performance while the drama was airing at the same time. Like, uh, hmm. The drama Yuri is talking about is a suspense drama that's currently known by everyone in the class. There's a young and popular male and female lead in, and it also seems to be doing well with ratings. Oh, you're Yuri. Ah, I wanted to watch that. I forgot. It seemed as though she was really down that she forgot to watch it. I recorded it so I can lend you the DVD if you want. Your facial expression suddenly got a lot brighter thanks to my words. Ugh, really? Thank you. Yuri showed me a happy, smiling face. Oy. There we are. That's a little better. Let me do these now. Ah. Looked like it was a good idea to record it. By the way, weren't you supposed to be going to school with your club... Oh, excuse me, club mates today. I remember that she told me yesterday when we were walking home. Again, doki doki. That she had made a promise with her club mates to walk to school with them today. I didn't know if Yuri had just forgot, but she frantically checked her watch and began preparing to leave. Ah, you're right. I'll go now. See you at school. As she said that, she dashed out the house. As I thought that, she soon returned. I wonder if she forgot something. Hey, come eat dinner at our place tonight. We're eating fried chicken tonight. Yay. The fried chicken that Yuri's mom makes is really delicious, and is sometimes both me and Yuri love it. Okay. She's been making it for us from a young age. By the way, by the way, when talking about Yuri and cooking, the only thing she's really good at is cooking is fried chicken. 
I've been treated to meals by her many times. But I feel like saying that it's good cooking is too much of an understatement. Then I guess I'll come around. I thought you'd say that. I've already told my mom you were coming around. See you later. As she said as she ran out of the door frantically once again. The scene turned back to the quiet house. And I remembered the slight feeling of loneliness. She has been like this since a younger age. Or a young age. Always being boisterous and bright. Thanks to that personality, she has a lot of friends. She's part of a basketball club, and it seems as though she's loved. She all, She's also loved by her upperclassmen as well. I've never seen her alone. She can become friends with anyone. Thanks to that personality, even I have been saved countless times by her. Though, because it's a little embarrassing, I haven't said anything to her. After finishing eating breakfast... After finishing eating breakfast, nice English. I started preparing to head to school. Arranging all the things I need for today in my bag, without forgetting my lunch, I made sure I wasn't forgetting anything. My mother always makes me lunch every day without fail. She probably thinks it's just her duty as a mother. Okay, let me turn this on. It's gonna be beaming right at my face, but oh well. It seems as though she's handing the exact same lunch to my father as well, even though they're supposed to have a bad relationship. The fact that she's making it for him perplexes me a little. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe she's trying to repair her relationship with him. Sorry. Now. Thinking about that, that time started to fly, and it became, and it came to the time when I needed to go quickly. So I headed out of the house. As I was walking and listening to music, someone tapped on my shoulder from behind. Ah! As I took my earphones out, I and turned around, standing there was Koyoko Teramoto. Good morning, Junior. Yay, you know my name. G Good morning! I greeted her with a little stutter. Koyoko Teramoto is one year old. One year old than me. You made that sound weird. People who write this game, I'm sorry, your English is bad. I'm sorry. Probably not written by English people. I'm sorry if that offended anybody is one year old than me and is my upperclassman. She is really beautiful and is kind of like the school's very own Madonna. Madonna. If the rumors are correct, she was even confessed to by a teacher and even has patrons. These are all just purely rumors, but one thing is for sure that there's no one in the school that doesn't know Koyo Koyoko Teramoto. Koyoko's black hair is waving in the wind. I was unknowingly gazing at that at that scene. What's wrong? Are you still half asleep? As she said that, she started glancing at my face. Suddenly, the space between my face and her shortened, making me embarrassed. No, I'm fine. I quickly averted my eyes. I did so to make sure she wouldn't find out my face was red due to embarrassment, blushing. I'd become a little weird due to the situation. Koyoko started to laugh. <laughs> if it's okay with you, shall we go to school together? Yes. Sure. Koyoko smiled, then started walking next to me. I put my music player in my, into my bag. For a short while, the silence continued. I wonder if there's anything I can talk about. Was what was... Was what was running around my head, but not being able to think of anything I could talk... I could talk with Kayoko about. The silence continued. Just as I looked at Kayoko, she was staring at my bag. Um, Kayoko? I said to her timidly. I met her eyes with mine, and then she again soon averted my gaze. I wonder if there's something weird about my bag. 
When I looked again, it seemed as though her gaze was looking towards a penguin-shaped key holder I had. This was one of those toys you can get from a fast food place. <laughs> this was one of those toys you can get from fast food places. I don't really know much about it. But it seems as though these characters are currently in a boom and apparently... Apparently this one is quite rare. I wonder if it was this one she was looking at. Koyugo, do you like this character? I held up the key holder. Eh, no, I would never like something like that. Even though she frantically declined it, she was blatantly trembling. I thought she was a cool person, but in reality, she seems to be a little cute. You can have this if you want. As I asked her, her face blatantly lit up with happiness. But when she realized what face she was making, she instantly reverted to her usual straight one. I don't really like cute things, though. It was just a little interesting in it. She insisted with quite a bit of emphasis that she didn't really like cute things. I guess it might be something she doesn't want many people to know. My image of her changed some. She was quite cute. Even though it's second hand, I think it suits you better than me. As I said that, I pulled her, I pulled the key holder out of my bag and handed it to her. If you put it that way, then I'll take it. Thank you. Koyoko seemed to smile as if completely satisfied. Just being able to see that face made handing over the key holder worth it. After walking a little further, we made it to school. Koyoko's building is different to mine. So we parted ways and I headed towards my classroom. Before going to my classroom, I decided to use the toilet. So I headed towards the bathroom. I finished my business and washed, washed, watched my hands, nice English, and washed my hands, then left the toilet. As I reached into my pocket to pull out the handkerchief, I thought I'd put in there my, my pocket was empty. Huh, empty? Where did I lose it? I placed my hands in both my pockets trying to find it, but they were both empty. Maybe I just forgot to put it in my pockets in the first place? <laughs> Wondering what I should do about my wet hands, just as I was thinking about it. A beautiful pink handkerchief was held out in front of me. Please. <gasps> I'm going for you. Rai Kum Kumagaya? Ray or Rai, I don't know. Rai Kumagaya. The person who lended me the handkerchief was my up uh, with my classmate Rai Kumugaya. I'm just gonna say Rai or Rai. Yeah. She is the princess type with blonde hair and almost see-through blue eyes. She acts gracefully and is also the top of the school in grades. A different type of girl to Koyoko. Don't worry about it, I'll, I'll just feel bad. Even though she was nice to me, I turned her down. Aww. I can't let myself borrow such a beautiful handkerchief. But you did not bring a handkerchief with you, correct? I'm sure you'll be troubled with wet hands, so please use mine if you would. After saying that, she held out the handkerchief once again. Even though we're a little distance, distanced, I can smell the handkerchief. Has the fragrance of some kind of flowers, maybe? It smells good. Then I'll take your offer. Thank you. I took the handkerchief from Ray. I'm sure it's very high. Wait, I'm very. I'm sure it's a very high grade handkerchief. It had a soft touch, and I understood that it was made using high grade materials straight away. Thank you, though. How come you decided to lend it to me? As I asked that, Ray's face got a little red. Just as I thought to use the bathroom before class started, I saw you standing in the entrance and didn't want you to be a new a nuisance a nuisance for me when using the bathroom. That's all. As she was saying this, she went she was averting her eyes from mine. As I looked at my surroundings, I had somehow arrived in front of the girls' bathroom. Oh no. 
It seems as though I was searching for my handkerchief. I was... I had wandered in towards the girls' bathroom. Uh-oh. Right. I was just in the way. Sorry for being in the way. I'll wash your handkerchief and then return it to you. Don't worry about it. I don't mind if you don't wash the handkerchief. I felt a little bad about returning a wet handkerchief, but it seemed as though she didn't want my offer. Even so, returning it like this, I feel bad considering I used it on my dirty hands. I wavered a little, but in the end decided to return it after washing it. I'll return it after washing it after all, or do you... Or do you mean because you lent it to me, you no longer have a handkerchief to use? Speaking of that, if I don't return it, won't Ray not have one? Thinking of that, I timidly ask. No, I have another one, so please, be at ease. Well, if you'll go that far, I'll graciously accept your offer. Ray pulled out a separate handkerchief from her pocket to show me. I wonder if she always brings two with her. She's always prepared, so I guess it's not strange for someone like her to wave. Have to. Wave to what? Zombies! Wave to! Just kidding. Thinking she had two just to hand one to me is a little far fetched. This handkerchief smells nice. Is it the wash powder you use? Yes, that's correct, but it's not anything expensive. They sell it at the supermarkets. I see. Being honest, I thought it was going to be some really high-priced product that she was using. I wonder if I should ask what that what the name is, but won't she not like that? If you would like, I could tell you the name. Uh, are you sure? She said yes and pulled out a pen and paper from her chest pocket and started writing. After writing the memo, she handed me the paper. I was happy she not only wrote the name but also which supermarket it was being sold in as well as the general price. Thank you. I'll go see if I can find it next time. Well, I'll borrow this handkerchief for now. Thank you. I'll return it to you tomorrow. After saying that, I left the area. Even though I felt a little embarrassed about walking around with a pink handkerchief, I put the borrowed handkerchief into my pocket. My hands had the same nice smell as the handkerchief. As I entered the classroom, the, lessons the lesson was about to start, so most of the students were in their seats talking to their friends. I took my own seat and started preparing for the next lesson. As I did, I felt something on the back of my feet. As I looked down, I saw the eraser that someone seemed to even drop, have dropped. I wonder who it is. Ah. I heard a voice from the seat next to mine. As I checked, my classmate, Korea Nakasu, was looking over to me, at me. It seems like this eraser is hers. It seems like some kind of character eraser. Here, this is yours, right? I picked up the eraser and handed it to her. Korea, Korea seemed to be a little perplexed and was fidgeting with her face, with her face facing down. It was really white skin with black, with, with black hair and long bangs. She has a quiet, timid and embarrassed aura to her and is always looking downwards. That kind of girl. She doesn't seem to have any many friends, and you rarely ever see her around other people. I'm going to start saying my outro now, in case it cuts out. Oh, no, wait, but then... Oh, never mind, wait. It also seems like she's not taking part in any clubs. Um, thanks? She said with a small, timid voice while timidly extending her hand. It's a cute eraser. As soon as I talked to her, her face turned bright red and face downwards. I wonder if it would have been better not to not talk to her. She might have not wanted me to talk to her. Thanks, I like this a lot. She said in a small voice just as I was feeling bad about talking to her. It seems like that character on the eraser is from the same series as the keyholder I gave the Koyoko earlier. 
within that series it seems like seems she likes this character that's shaped like a chick it seems as though just like the key holder this is also rare and popular by the way it seems as though Korea also has three other things from the same series that she's using as attachments amazing I'm collecting these they're cute really Korea smiled happily while staring at the eraser this may even be the first time I've ever seen her face like this. I thought it was pure and quiet. Next time I go to the fast food, if I get one of the characters, I'll give it to you. Really? Hearing a large voice I'd never heard before from Korea, I was a little startled. She loved them so much. It seemed as though she was a little, also a little surprised at the loud voice she let out and was trying to cover her mouth with her hands. I wonder if I go to the menu though, will I be able to resume from where I left off? Let's test it. If not, I'm gonna end it. End game. Yes? Now if I press resume? Okay, good. I'm gonna end it off here. Actually, no, I was just doing a little test. It's only at 26. It's random, so I don't actually know if it'll if I'll be able to get any but if I do I'll definitely give them to you thanks you're really kind she laughed a little with a slightly red face I don't know if it's because I finally saw her face that's always looking downwards or because she had a different atmosphere than usual but my heart skipped the beat junior can I have a moment uh oh as I heard the voice from behind me and turned around, I saw a girl from my class standing there. For some reason, she seemed to be calling me. I don't mind, but after the female student heard my response, she walked over to the corner of the classroom and I followed behind her. Junior, it's, the, it's best if you don't talk to Korea much. Eh? I was suddenly surprised that Korea's name had come up in the conversation. She's not actually human, but a vampire. Oh! <gasps> Ooh, what if they're all vampires? You know about it, right? The stories lately of a vampire. Before listening to my response, the female student was talking about all sorts of things. The things she was saying, stories of vampires, legend that people have been talking about lately. When night falls, vampires appear, they attack humans, kill them, and drink their blood. It's just an urban legend, but it seems as though students and teachers from the same school have been attacked, and neighbors as well. There are also a lot, also a lot of eyewitness statements, though I haven't actually seen anything of the sort. An idol was attacked as well. It seems as though there are vampires in the acting world as well, and the stories have been really popular lately on variety shows, and even between children and adults. So, what does this person wants to say? Is the Korea is one of those vampires. As uh, for proof, she always resting from things like Fizad, right? People say that's because she doesn't want to be in the sunlight. Not only that, my friend's friend's brother's girlfriend said that she saw Korea sucking someone's blood. Friend's friend's brother's girlfriend, isn't that basically a stranger? It doesn't hold much credibility. But after hearing her story, I understand why Korea was always alone. Rumors with no basis like this going around, people are labeling her as a vampire without knowing the truth. The truth shall come to light. Junior, you should make sure not to get friendly with her as well. She was warning me as if to make me believe her own ideas. She's probably trying to warn me from, from the good of her own heart. Or maybe she doesn't really have any feelings for me and others and it is just having fun tormenting korea i don't know her true feelings but i know mine thanks for the warning but i'll decide myself who i want to be friends with with utmost calmness but to get across my feelings to her properly i informed her of my rejection as i said that she turned her back to me from behind me, I heard something along the lines of, hey, but I ignored it and returned to my seat. As I was just about to sit down, Korea had an aura of unease in her. 
and in the seat next to me. All right, I'm gonna go now. It's at the 30 minute mark. Thank you for watching. That was actually pretty interesting. Please do like, comment, subscribe for more things like games, reaction videos, vlogs, challenges, and PlayStation 4 videos. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure it is gray, not red, because if it's red, you're missing out on my content. How you know you subscribed is the bell icon. Hit that, like, because I didn't hit anything in this episode. So hit that bell icon, and you'll get notified on when I upload. Anyways, I will see you dudes and duders in the next video. Au revoir.